If you want to get experience playing live, but you don't actually want to go clubbing every single weekend, then this video could honestly be the most important for you all year. Now, I know everyone says this, but you really do want to watch the whole thing as each topic feeds off the last. And by the end of this video, you're going to have five actionable strategies and steps, right, that you can use to build immediate momentum. See, personally, right, I think you should take this video as a challenge, okay, and commit to doing all five of these strategies. But let's say you're in a really dark place right now, like perhaps you feel you're old or you're out of the loop, or perhaps you have zero friends and zero pulling power. Well, guess what, right? I've also got some ideas for you too. See, like I said, this video really has got everyone covered. Okay, so I'm gonna jump in now. Now I'm gonna talk about club shows, which I know I talk about a lot, but you know, I'll cover club shows first. Then I'm gonna go into house parties, which is pretty cool, a house party touring network idea that's never been shared before online. And then I'm also gonna include some ideas on how to get shows without needing to bring people and you know do all that, just actually providing entertainment for cool places. Okay, so number one, find local promoters that run one-off events. Now, this is great as it's still gonna give you a taste of playing in a club, which is awesome, okay? And if you play your cards right, you could still get regular shows, especially if you get to know a few of the promoters that run the events and the other DJs involved in those events but the good news is it's not going to involve clubbing every single weekend see right now the rise of the casual nightclub promoter is huge there's lots of promoters are opting to do one-off events sometimes monthly events sometimes just a few events per year as opposed to what I did back in the day, which was run events every single weekend. And at one stage, I had three events in each state and I was flying around between each state. And honestly, I kept that up for 17 years. And honestly, for a lot of people, that could be considered taking on way too much. And there's no reason that you have to go to that level. Like you can still get the joys of DJing without committing to it to that extent. So if you do want to play in a club, be it weekly or monthly, right? I am sorry to say this, but you're still going to have to form a relationship with the people running the event before asking for a show. Otherwise, your request is going to go ignored. See, here's the thing. If the first time the promoter hears from you, okay, and you're asking for something and they don't know you, their reaction is going to be get away from me as no one wants to be friends or no one wants to work with people that are only using them to get something from them. So instead, right, you need to first reach out to the promoter and express an interest in their event. And honestly, try to find some common ground, which may actually just be a shared passion for their parties, which means experiencing their parties first. Now, just bear with me for one minute here, okay? One huge advantage of being part of the Club Ready Tribe is more and more promoters, like DJs now becoming promoters, are being bred through the school. And not only do I groom my students on how to play killer DJ sets that can suit all occasions, but there's also whole sections in the course on how the music industry works that includes videos and step-by-step -step strategies on how to launch and run your own events. And by being part of our tribe, even though it may sound unlikely to you now, but with a new position of confidence and coming from a position of strength, your perspective could change. And perhaps one day in the future, you too could you know, start your own club event. And perhaps you could even start it with other members of the group. And already that's happening in our tribe. And the success stories around my students' events, they're phenomenal, like they're killing it, man. So it's a really good team there, okay? But let's say you don't wanna even run your own club event. You could easily reach out to other students already running events in our community, okay? and simply acknowledge their success and how well they're doing and then take that a step further and express that you're excited to go check out their next event and then when you go you know arrive early stay late take some friends make a night out of it and if the promoter is also a dj and they're playing that night just even find out what time they're playing let them know you're coming and then support their set and that gives you the common ground that i'm talking about so the advantage of building the relationship first and showing an interest in their event without initially wanting anything in return is honestly huge and it immediately separates you from 99% of all the other DJs that only want to be involved if they can personally get something from you. At this early stage, just drop any intention of wanting to play all together, okay? Just go for the sake of the party. Get inspired by the event. Socialize with the other DJs in the crowd there. Say hi to the promoter and, and introduce yourself, okay? And if you haven't already, even express enthusiasm for their events. And then if you do decide to follow up and later ask for a set, 
you can talk honestly about their event and better yet, you would have done the research needed to know how to best complement that event and add value to the event when you do actually play. Okay, so number two, throw house parties. Now, I can appreciate it, right, if you feel option one is not a sure thing. And if that concerns you, then throwing your own house party is by far the easiest option. And if you want a way to make your house party more exciting, you could, you know, use a theme to spice it up, like someone's birthday party, Halloween party, perhaps even throw a Christmas or New Year's Eve party, whatever, okay? Now, if you feel weird, though, about being the only DJ there, or perhaps you're running a party just so you can play at it, then the easy solution is to put on other entertainment as well. Like make it a, kind of like your own event, but at a house, okay? Now, so for instance, you know, I went to a friend's birthday last year and he threw a house party with a 90s theme and my ex-partner and I went dressed as Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love. And honestly, they had this band playing like 90s covers there early. And then when the band finished, one of their mates jumped on some decks, right? And DJed for a few hours and honestly, that party and the atmosphere there was amazing. And honestly, it's a night that I'll remember and actually treasure forever. It was like a really good night. Now, my advice though, the secret to successful house parties is creating unreal atmospheres. Now, that may mean putting some park hands around the garden, right? So you've got lights up trees, you know, get some moving lights, perhaps a smoke machine, or even, you know, if you want to make things a little bit more fun, you know, hire or buy like a bubble machine, some UV lights, you know, as the atmosphere you can create in the area that you're playing, well, it's gonna actually help to attract more people. And if you've got it all going on, people will be like, wow, okay. So, okay, so number three, create a house party touring network. Now, if you wanna take this house party idea to the next level, okay, and do it more regularly, and let's say you know other people that are DJs, or perhaps you have friends that wanna to learn to DJ, then maybe you could all join forces and work together to create a mini touring network. So for instance, right, let's say you've got a group of five DJs and you're all mates of mates or mates of mates of mates, right? Then you could make a pact that you're all gonna throw one house party or some kind of event. It doesn't even have to be at a house. I'll get to that next. But you could all throw one once a year and that you can all play at that event. Now that means, right, you're gonna get five shows a year at least. But the cool thing about this is, once you start playing at house parties or even events, like word of mouth spreads really fast and people may start booking you on the side for their own events or house parties. And honestly, things could take off for you really quickly. But one thing to note though, playing house parties is different to clubs. And if you're being booked by someone, okay, that means they're paying you to play at their event, then you'd have to get on the same page with what kind of music they expect. See, quite often, right, with a nightclub, especially if you've researched in, in advance, they may specialize in a particular genre. As house parties, they're a little bit more free for all. And honestly, you should be prepared for any eventualities. So for instance, let's say you're into techno and the last house, house party you hosted, you played techno and everyone loved it and your set was huge. So you prepared something similar for the next event that you got booked for. But let's say that crowd's a little bit different and perhaps they want a little bit more commercial stuff like tech house or commercial dance, maybe even hip hop, okay? Well, then you're gonna have a choice and that is stay true to what you do and perhaps clear your dance floor and feel a little bit soul crushed because you're playing to no one or adjust your set to suit the crowd as personally I feel when playing live, atmosphere is king and you really should know how to mix all genres so you can be prepared for any eventuality, okay? Now, just quickly, mixing up music genres, okay? So loads of people message me saying they're interested in my Club Ready DJ course, but they wonder if it's for them or not because they don't want to play in clubs. And the truth is, I'm certain, right, my DJ course is the most comprehensive on the market as it covers how to mix all genres of music and by the course's end, you're gonna have all the skills needed to mix confidently at any type of event, be it a house party, a function, nightclubs, and you're also gonna be able to mix anything into everything. And I'm certain by doing the course, you're gonna be the standout DJ on every single lineup that you play. Honestly, man, I've seen it a thousand times before, like people that are self-taught versus people who have done my courses. And honestly, sure the free stuff's good, right? But the course builds you up with rock solid foundations so you can instinctively mix and your transitions will create energy 
that people will be like, wow, okay. But anyway, I'll link in my course in the description below along with my free mini course, which includes over 16 free videos to help you get started. So check that out. Okay, so just a quick plug there, thank you. Okay, so number four, start your own one-off event. See, let's say, right, you're living in an apartment, okay, and throwing a house party is not an option for you then. What's to stop you from finding a cool space and running your event there? Now, just don't allow the obstacles to prevent you from achieving your goals. So for instance, right, you could easily find a cool bar with a rooftop area or perhaps, you know, a lot of venues like have function areas that you may be able to hire out for free if you provide a small bar tab or something. Or you could even find a community center or a cool cafe, a piece of land with a generator, or even a friend's house, an abandoned warehouse, honestly, whatever okay i was even walking through byron bay the other night and down this side alley there's this dj set up i don't know how they got power to it maybe they got a little generator or something but it was down at a side alley in byron bay playing side trance and there was at least 50 people spilling out into the street and honestly that looked insane and it's just like a free little party in an alley you know so but anyway let's say any of these ideas scare you or it feels like too much you just gotta change your perspective. So for instance, right, let's say you're overwhelmed by finding a venue, okay? Then just let go of the stress, okay? Okay, and honestly, by doing so, let the venue find you. So for instance, right, you may go into a cool cafe or even a bar and be like, wow, man, this is a cool space, okay? And just by being open to the idea of running an event, you're gonna open up your filters. It'll be like removing blinkers and then you'll be more likely to notice the opportunities when they do appear. So you're gonna be so surprised what you can achieve once you start focusing on what you want as opposed to all the reasons that can't happen for you. And once you get in alignment with your goals, honestly, man, so many cool options and ideas will start showing up for you. That, like that is right, on one condition, you have to get off the couch and do something creative from time to time to stimulate those ideas, okay? Well, I'll go into more of that now. So last but not least, number five, just get experience. So for the people that have little to no friends, meaning, if they threw a house party, they'd have no one to invite. Then you'll need to find events that aren't relying on DJs to get numbers, but they more use DJs just for entertainment for their already existing crowd. So for instance, loads of my students are getting regular shows at gyms, okay? That's huge right now. Or perhaps you could even play on a Sunday afternoon cafe event or something that you start. I'll give you ideas in a sec. Or the local brewery or even at your local pub. Now, even by looking at the area where I live in Mullumbimby, there's heaps of places that could benefit benefit from having a DJ and perhaps that venue or business, they don't even know it. In which case, you need to make it your job to reach out to these venues and businesses and put forward your idea. See, here's the thing, right? Most businesses' success is based on new people becoming aware of them and also creating a bit of a buzz and a community feel around that business to assure repeat customers. So for instance, let's say there's a local yoga studio that maybe you're even going to, you're involved with, you get to know the people first, that's great, or even a tattoo studio or any kind of business really, they will always want to attract new people and what better way than to throw a party, even a barbecue and have a DJ and build and strengthen that community. So if you go out and think, wow, man, this space is awesome, okay, and you could see yourself playing there, just remember, right, when you reach out to them and tell them how it could benefit them, yeah, just talk more about how it benefits them to being like, oh man, I'd love to get a little bit of experience, okay? And um, if you want, just even do the first show for free so they can try before they buy, so to speak. And honestly, if it takes off and let's say you play the right kind of music and create a cool atmosphere for that party, not only will you make a whole bunch of friends, but you could get repeat shows from that. And honestly, you, you, you're kind of putting yourself out there. And because you're putting yourself out there, the, I find the world often rewards that. I actually recently watched the David Bowie documentary called Moonage Daydream. And some of the stuff Bowie said really resonated with me actually. And for instance, what he said was about being creative. It's all about putting yourself into situations that make you feel uncomfortable. And by immersing yourself in activities that stretch your comfort zone, 
ideas and inspirations come to you, okay? But if you're stuck on the couch, okay, let's say getting depressed about your life situation, wondering why your ideas have dried up and you're dwelling on the fact that perhaps you're getting old, you've got no friends, then honestly, with that way of thinking, you're never gonna get a show as your negative thinking becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So honestly, man, fuck that, okay? Commit now to doing something that stretches your comfort zone and by immersing yourself in new activities, honestly, just watch the friendship, the friendships form and new opportunities open up for you. But the one condition is you have to put yourself out there. You have to, you know, yeah, you, you have to, man. You've gotta take some action, okay? Anyway, thanks again. If you found this helpful, please show your love in the comments, okay? And um, yeah, just help the channel to grow. But if by liking, commenting, subscribing, all that, yeah, it helps me to build confidence too, so I can keep releasing content for you.